Temperatures this morning much warmer than we were at yesterday at this time. Low to mid 70s to begin your morning here on this Wednesday. Dew points uh, on the climb as well. So as we increase the temperature, we're also increasing that humidity. It's going to be a muggy day today, hot and humid. And you know what that means, a heat index that's going to be pushing the upper 90s near the low 100s. Viper radar right now is quiet and we are expecting most of the daytime to remain dry. So yes, we've had the storm icon on our seven day forecast all week, but it's mainly due to the threat of storms later this evening, likely either right around or just after sunset. But you can see where uh, those storms are coming from. This front is pushing in through northern Illinois, northern Missouri right now. That's going to be traveling off towards our direction later into your evening hours. Severe weather threat for today through the overnight. Areas north and west of Lexington included in that level two risk. Level one risk, a small area with a level one risk from Lexington down to Richmond. The main severe weather threat will be damage in wind gusts, particularly in that level uh, two area. Also, heavy torrential rain that could lead, lead to some localized flooding concerns, especially if we see multiple rounds of storms over the same area. There's a sharp cutoff as well because we're not expecting much in terms of storm activity in the far southern and southeastern Kentucky. The storms aren't going to quite make it there from the round on the way tonight into tomorrow, but that changes Thursday into uh, your Friday. So timing things out here with future cast pop up shower storm possible during the afternoon. We're mainly dry for everyone through the daytime. Later into the evening, we'll be watching uh, the northwestern skies for those storms moving on in out of uh, southern Indiana into the Louisville metro area. Those could pose that severe weather uh, damaging wind gust threat and produce some heavier rain, especially if it slows down a little bit. Tomorrow morning, maybe some lingering rain for the I-64 corridor, still dry across our southern parkways. And then as the day progresses, especially midday, afternoon time frame looking like the best chance we see of that scattered to numerous uh, shower and storm activity. And then we try to dry things out just in time for those fireworks around 7 to 9 o'clock before we start off your Friday, maybe with a stray shower, very muggy, 70s and 80s in the morning hours, and then see that final push of the storms moving through Friday afternoon. So I want to show you this, just the future rainfall totals, because it really gives you a good idea of when we're going to see the rain. This is through midnight tonight, north and west of Frankfurt, seeing most of that rain. Then through around 8 o'clock tomorrow evening, still mainly northern Kentucky with a lot of that rain. Southern Kentucky, just some isolated activity for you. But then as you head into Friday, that push is going to be bringing our areas into southern and southeastern Kentucky, their chance of showers and thunderstorms. So for the 4th of July, a level 1 or marginal risk, not too much to worry about in terms of severe weather. It's the heavier rain threat that we could see tomorrow. And then on Friday, as that final push of storms moves through, that'll give us another level one severe risk for today though hot and humid with those late day and mainly overnight storms that'll be moving in temperatures into the low to mid 90s tonight seeing that round of storms moving on in could be heavy at times and looking ahead at your fourth of july forecast best chance of rain early in the day will try to dry things out as you head closer to your sunset and looking ahead at the full seven day forecast final push of the storms on friday we dry out for the weekend actually looking really nice right around average a little bit above average by Sunday.